Hello, I'm Kenny from Duck Nation. Have you ever wondered, is the Moab Assassin 2, 3 cannon better at popping Moabs than the 0, 3 monkey sub that does have the ballistic missile that seeks its target over any distance and does extra damage to ceramics and Moab class balloons over anywhere on the map. So let's just start with, um, let's see, we'll start with four ceramics. And ooh, we'll just destroy those. And the reason we have that is just as a counter. So let's start with just one Moab, see how it takes it down. Um, we're gonna start, um, it's a, um, a 03 submarine is about the same price as a 2-3, uh, Moab assassin. So that's how we're gonna do it. Um, let's send out three now. Let's see how they do. They took down one, no problem. Ooh, and having some trouble. Oh, no, no, we're really not. Um, I've tried to pr place them, hopefully, so they got about th the same, like, um, amount of track it can hit, but, um, the ballistic missiles seek the whole track, so it might not be as hard. So let's just try four. Let's just see how they take them down. Okay, now let's try BFV. So I'm pretty sure I went one, three, four. I'm in a little bit of trouble here. But don't forget, these guys have two attacks, the ballistic missiles and the darts. And the air burst darts. Oh, and they broke through that first layer. Oh, and they broke through the other layers fairly quickly, but ooh, is it going to be enough? They did a fairly good job with that. Only like 170 by, so let's, let's go two. <laughs> might take a while here. I don't think th I think they'll be able to pop the first layer of each. I'm not sure how it's gonna happen if they're gonna pop both layers first or what. Oh, yeah, they pop both. Oh, doing a pretty good job here. Okay, um, so one three one nine on them. I'm not gonna try this. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure it won't pop it. Um, so one th one three three nine, and then let me just set up the other one. Okay, there's our setup. I put them on strong because that's how most people do it. So we'll start with our four, no, eight. We'll say eight. And they're not doing a good job at all. Ooh, already letting 203 balloons by. Maybe they'll make up in the Moab. Let's see. Ooh, it's not looking good. Actually, yeah, I don't think the couple got through, maybe. Let's, so we're going for three now. Oh, they popped those very quickly. Popped them very quickly, but the balloons are giving them trouble. Letting a lot of balloons thing now. Let's try four. Here come four. They're popping the Moab layers very quickly, but the balloons are giving them a lot of bit of trouble. A lot of bit of trouble, that makes sense. Oh yeah, they're they're up there. So we're gonna go for one. Yeah, they already got 2,000. They definitely didn't win. Well, they popped up fairly quickly once they all came out, though. Ooh. But it, ooh. We gotta go for two, just because that's what I did with the other one, and this isn't looking good at all. <coughs> popped them fairly quickly, though. God, my spike factor can't even keep up, and I think a couple balloons got through there. That didn't count. So about 1,400 compared to about 6,000 with the Moab assassins. So which ones are better for Moabs? Uh, 
clearly the Zero Three submarine, and the one reason I think so is because it not only has the extra popping power um, for the Moab, it also has the extra popping power for the ceramics. Um, it also the ballistic missile can reach anywhere on the map, and those um, airburst darts, they whatever's left behind from the uh, Moab is really cleaned up. So which one wins? I would say the sub, which most people probably don't know, but when I'm in a situation, go for the 2-3 sub.